So hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It is time for episode 2 of Daryl Dixon. <laughs> I've seen apparently this one deals with the outbreak in France. I am so excited. I love, I love it when shows show the beginning and stuff like this. Uh, which is why I like season 1 of Fear so much. Season 1 of Fear dealt so well with the outbreak. And then it just kind of moved on. But yeah, if you guys want to see the extended version of this reaction, as always, the mic is tilted. Why are you tilted? As always, the extended version goes up over on Patreon. That version is usually around the, 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 the 35, 40 minute mark. Um, I gotta edit and jump through hoops to try to make sure these videos stay up on YouTube, which is why these versions are so chopped up and edited and whatnot. Why do I think we're starting a new show over there this week as well? Yeah, so at the moment we're doing reactions for Outer Banks, X-Files, Star Trek, Heartstopper, Peacemaker, Buffy, Supernatural, Gotham, Good Omens, Handmaid's Tale, Vampire Diaries, Nah, I think I'm starting something, I just can't remember what it is. So the link to that's down below, along with the link to my Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere else you can find me if you want to come and say hi. Let's go. Because oh, Monday has become my favourite day of the week because of this. Daryl Dixon and then this ride with Norman Reedus. What more could you want from a Monday? Alright, we have an end of the world party. Love it. She doesn't seem to love it. She does not seem happy. She knows what's coming. She knows Daryl Dixon's going to wash up on her beach someday, so this stupid party does not impress her. I have never been in a club, ever. It's a really fucking bland fact for you. <laughs> See, the bad thing about this is if an outbreak did happen, you wouldn't you wouldn't even notice. Everyone around you already looks kind of tormented. Oh, she's a klepto? Some fella's gonna come running out. Where's my watch? I know we're only like an episode and, and a bit into this whole new show. Visually, I think this is one of the prettiest we've ever seen from The Walking Dead. Daryl's show, it's given us everything. Like, look at how divine this is. We have a midnight smoke by the Eiffel Tower. Visually, just... Oh. See? I like her. She doesn't go to investigate. She sees some fuckery afoot and she just goes, nope. She nopes the other way. Instead of, like, most characters that would be like, what is that? They walk towards it. She's smart. That's a city girl for you. Mm -mm. We ain't getting on the train to Passan. Girl, no, I was just saying you're smart for not investigating. What did he even fall over? There was nothing on the road. He just absolutely ate shit there for no reason. Who's he? He's a man who just punched a walker. He, he fears no god. Billy? Billy? That's my dog's name. I too come Billy, home Billy, and just scream. I was just gonna say that's gotta be her sister to walk in and be like get up you're coming with me and then she just follows you that has to be some sister shit Isabella's gonna become someone's dinner they're definitely gonna pull some twisted shit like that is there a person you knew right I don't need a question everyone you know is dead except us what Ouch. kind of death would you prefer how about a quiet one yeah, he doesn't want baby prophets backseat prophesizing shit. He's like, just shh. Oh no, you're gonna let him go. He's gonna be eaten. That horse is so gonna end up dead at the side of the road. What if he's lost? He's gotta learn sometime. You don't have children, do you? The truth's gonna wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Negan? God, he got boinked hard. It's to cast a world beyond. On est des gens d'église. On a perdu notre mule, on s'est retrouvé coincé. Les bonnes sœurs. <laughs> so he doesn't look like a nun. Oh, vous dont la puissance s'étend à toutes nos nécessités et c'est rendre possible les choses les plus impossibles. Yeah, if I was him, I'd be shitting bricks too. The two nuns start praying in French behind you. I'd be like, what the fuck does that mean? Out of respect for Father Daryl. Okay, on y va. He's like, oh man, I, I hope I get back home to tell Gabe about this. Oh god. Oh, she's on death's door. I'd keep a fucking eye on her and she could tear down this whole establishment. We read to her and we sing. Prayers will be answered. She's looking a bit too far gone inside that bed. Not to be negative Nelly or anything. So do they not know that if you die you turn anyway? Because I'm guessing if they did know, they wouldn't have her just chilling in this room. And Father Daryl, if you come sit next to me. 
I cannot get used to that name. Ellen is our chef. What kind of food do you grow? I don't trust that these aren't a group of baby cannibals just yet. I, I'm Laurent. One time, I ruled backwards for three months. Laurent. Laurent's a little weirdo. He's a prophet and opens up a conversation with they used to walk backwards. Like, okay. Polymer. Everyone's like super religious in this show. The nuns, I get, but these people, these kids. Lead us in a prayer of thanks. I'm sure you have your reasons for turning the whole world upside down. Maybe we deserve it for being so mean to each other. But not tonight. Tonight is good. What a strange prayer. Dear God, you fucked up our world, and I'm sure you have your reasons. But well, fuck you. Tonight we're having a nice ass really dinner. Is. We've defied the odds. Good. You know where we can find another one? Let us. At the house is a lizard. Dragon from old stories. No, this one is not a... The lizard man's gonna give a us a horse? You live in the castle and you live here. Does he got a mule? Food. Fuel. John's like, yeah, 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 okay. The lizard man's a robber. But does he have Never a horse? Shop. It's too dangerous. We won't go there again. Then why bring up the lizard man at all? This is giving me like Neverland Peter Pan vibes. It's sweet. It's sweet that they all came together and protected each other and helped each other grow up. Please don't tell me this whole community is going to die now because I could totally see them pulling some fucked up shit like that. And Daryl has a track record from his old group that everybody that they come into contact with kind of ends up dead. I can sleep on the floor. <gasps> there is only one bed? That's like the best trope. They walked into a room and there was only one bed. Oh my god. Sure medicine will help that teacher. He doesn't. He just knows he needs a horse. She used to watch that TV show. Me and my brother used to watch it. When we were young. Mm, we love that show. Wanting to escape. Man, he's opening up an awful lot to her. Lily? We can get you to a doctor. What's wrong with Lily? Uh, I only need a minute. Is she bitter? Is she, is she a concealed biter person? Oh. Right in the face. Pristine aim, Lily. Oh, no, she's hiding a baby? We can't take her with us in that condition. I'd stab him in the head and leave him at the side of the road right here. Where are we going? We can drop her off somewhere on the way. I'm like, okay, babe, sure. And boom. Sharp rock into the back of the head. I fucking always take care of you. But you're telling her to abandon her sister, so I feel like that cancels out you taking care of her. At a girl. Oh my god, I like her. <laughs> Bye, bitch. My father, who was falsely imprisoned, joined the Foreign Legion to fight the Hunger Wars. Those penguins treat you wrong. <laughs> That's mean, he doesn't have much social skills. He's not used to dealing with other kids. And he's been super sheltered by the nuns. Is the baby a walker inside her fucking tummy? Exactly what you don't want to do in the middle of an outbreak. Walk up to an ambulance and be like, Bonjour, je suis malade. Oh, Jesus Christ. This. Listen, Laurent, he's eating apples up in heaven now, okay? Is that a walker moat? That's some shit that Alpha would have pulled. Hang on, they probably don't know about the outbreak yet, right? Oh, no. Okay, so we know at least two people in this room end up dead. Is this gonna be a... Uh, like in The Last of Us when, when Ellie's mom got bit and then gave birth? Is this gonna be the same fucking thing? Is this woman gonna have a kid and the kid's gonna be immune because she was bitten? Is her kid Laurent? This is totally her nephew. Oh my god, we're going scale in the tower. You know, the only bad thing I would say about this is you know he's going to be grand. You know he can't be bitch because it's his show and it's been like renewed for a season two. I don't know that I trust that. Okay, he's in. Never mind. I speak English too. Erisson, uh, in English, it's a hedgehog. Hedgehog. All right. Let's go, hedgehog. I love it. He does not even question. He's like, okay, cool, hedgehog. I don't give a fuck what your name is. Hedgehog, you weren't setting me up for a trap here, were you? Is that your friend fucking knuckles up at the window? His tail's gonna come round the corner. Shoot at me too. 
I'm getting serious Last of Us vibes from a lot of shots in this and I'm liking it. You're American. Well noted. Me too. Simon Pegg? God, RJ Gaines, Harry Giddings. Mm mm, there's only room for one RJ in the Walking Dead universe that ain't you. Taking it out long enough to make you get back home with you love. I ain't your fucking brother. The show's so intense, a frame just jumped off my wall. And I'm 90% certain that it was my signed, one of my signed Norman Reedus posters. Spirit of Daryl Dixon is strong in this room tonight. Also, yes, I did not, I did not miss that I ain't your fucking brother. What a nice opposite parallel to Rick and Daryl. You're my brother. Oh, he's like, I have a brother, okay? Fuck you, Simon Pegg. I got 14 cans of sardines stashed away in the Oh God, sardines. I guess I let you go, so. Can we just knock this son of a bitch out? Just push him in the moat. Oh no. You think they give a fuck? Oh my, he is so stupidly, brilliantly sexy, I just can't. He's just there in the walker moat with a fucking, I don't know, swingy stick. How did being American help you out here, man? The only thing stronger than this motherfucker's sex appeal down in this moat is his plot armor. Those walkers behind him aren't even trying to come at him. He's too sexy, we can't kill him. So it's only women that can't survive falling into walker pits then? Because Glenn fell into a walker herd, the dumpster situation. Daryl fell into a walker herd. Poor Rosita takes a little slip and trip and gets bit. I'm not even mad though, he's my absolute favorite little bitch in the whole world. I'm glad he's okay. Will Daryl take over and do it for her? He had a Dale sorry brother moment. I actually think my room is haunted. That's that little bastard down there. I don't know if you guys can see him. Right there. He does that at random points throughout the day. Between that and the frames that are jumping off the wall like there's no tomorrow. Come on, give me a tragic plot twist. I'm guessing they're gonna get back and your one's gonna be dead inside the bed. It's too late. It's too late. Meds were never gonna help her. I would to her. Sure. She's a great little leader. My teacher is also with the angels. It's like I used to talk to his corpse through an iron door. If he had left her alone all, she would have stood up and started walking around again. He's like... So sorry for your loss. I got my horse, so I'm off. He is serious about getting home. He's trying to power through this mission so he can just fuck off. I want to stay here with my friends. No. Oh. I'm guessing we're going to have to pass back through here. And we're going to see death. Oh, jeez. My name's Daryl Dixon. This is why you don't record shit in the apocalypse. This motherfucker is going to follow them all across Paris. I appreciate that level petty. <laughs> Lily, wake up, you have a kid, half in, half out. No. Wouldn't the kid have died inside her too, though? They don't want to be special. So how much of this is that Laurent is actually special and how much of it is she just wants to believe that he is because of the situation? Oh, this kind of changes everything. Laurent, is that Saint Laurent? Holy fucking shit, Laurent's her nephew. So I think that one was even better than the first episode. Oh my God. I do wish we'd seen a little bit more of the outbreak. I feel like these shows, because they're so focused on, I don't know, because they're so focused on like telling a story and um, life after the apocalypse and, and world building, they tend to gloss over the beginning with the outbreak in places. And I'm like, you had such a huge, I d we did get to see a good amount of it to be fair, but you had such a huge opportunity to show us outbreak day one and they, they kind of just jumped over it they kind of like they showed it and they alluded to it and then they were like anyway y'all know what happened let's get back to the storyline and it's like no i still loved it though like i said at the beginning of this video the more extended reaction goes up over on patreon the link to my twitter instagram tiktok anywhere you could find me is down below if you want to come over and say hi and i'm off now to watch ride with norman Reedus while i sit slightly uncomfortably in what i can only describe as a haunted fucking room i can't I just there's so much weird shit's been happening lately